Would you like to know how to make a fabulous chocolate cake with no cholesterol? Or your favorite recipe 100% organic? Whether you're looking to lose weight, eat healthier, or go green, join me on Jen's Guiltless Gourmet for a culinary tour of foods from around the world with a twist. Everything I cook not only tastes great, but is healthier for you. I'll show you how to make simple ingredient changes and use creative cooking methods to transform even the most decadent recipes into guiltless gourmet. Healthier for the planet, healthier for you. What am I doing with the sieve and coffee filters? I'm making really fabulous low-fat cheesecake. I have the best recipe for cheesecake, and I'm going to make it margarita style since Mexico is our theme for the day. And how I'm gonna do it is by lining a sieve with coffee filters. Now if you want, you can use cheesecloth, but I prefer to use coffee filters because I know that I'm always gonna have them on hand. Now you really wanna line those good so that they overlap and kinda stick up above the edge because we're gonna put our cheesecake mixture in here. Now what's the magic mixture that's gonna give us really low calorie cheesecake? yogurt. I have a fabulous low-fat organic yogurt, just plain, and I am going to turn this into a cheesecake that you are not going to believe. That's about 32 ounces of yogurt, and I've drained it really well before I put it in my bowl. To that, I'm going to add about four or five tablespoons of zest. I have orange zest, lemon zest, lime zest. I really want those flavors to come out. About a cup of veganized powdered sugar. That's about a cup. About a quarter cup of fresh lime juice. This is about two tablespoons of orange liqueur. If you don't want to add the alcohol, you can leave the orange liqueur out. But definitely put in some lime essence or lime extract, whichever you find. I'm going to whisk this together. Okay, now when that's really well combined, I'm gonna add just a couple drops of a nice organic food coloring. Now you could use a lime flavored yogurt, but I find that if you really wanna get a nice cheesecake flavor with that nice tartness to it, start with a plain yogurt and add your own flavoring. Now I am gonna put this whole mixture into our sieve. Now you're gonna to wanna to make this recipe a good 24 hours ahead of time because it needs time for all that moisture to drain out and all those flavors to infuse together. So I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. And now to make our crust. What I have are about four cups of organic lemon cookies. And I've just crumbled them up. Now you can make your own from scratch if you'd like to, but I just went ahead and bought a boxed version. To that I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of melted or soft non-hydrogenated soy margarine. Now once again, I can't stress enough how important it is to buy non-hydrogenated margarines or oils. They're just so much better for you and how your body absorbs them. I'm just gonna mix this together. Okay, when that's fairly well combined, you're gonna have to get messy. Just make sure all that margarine is into those crumbs. Now this is practically gonna be the only fat that we have in this recipe. All right, so I'm just gonna divide these up into our little tart pans. Now you can use a whole size tart pan, you can use a pie pan, you can use a spring form pan, however you wanna do it. I like to do pretty little individual servings. Now you're just gonna wanna press that mixture all around the edges. Now you can use lemon cookies or vanilla cookies or graham cracker crumbs, gluten-free cookies, whatever you have on hand. Great. Now we're gonna put these in an oven at about 360 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes or until they're nice and golden brown. I 
I'm gonna wash up, and when we come back, we're gonna put together that cheesecake and make a fabulous organic margarita. Our tart crusts are out of the oven and they're beautiful and golden brown and they've had time to cool. And now we're gonna assemble our fabulous margarita cheesecake. First, I'm gonna take these out of the little tart pans. These are gonna be so pretty. I love doing individual serving sizes because it also helps for portion control. Now we're gonna grab our cheesecake mixture out of the refrigerator. Now I actually did this one yesterday so that we'd have time to set. As you can see, the moisture has drained out into our bowl at the bottom, leaving with us with a fabulous cheesecake textured yogurt. And I'm just gonna pick these up here by the uh, coffee filters and empty it into a clean bowl. get rid of this. Now we're going to put this mixture into our piping bag. Oh, this texture is just fabulous. And just a fraction of the fat and calories that you get from traditional cheesecake. I mean really traditional cheesecake is one of the most fattening things you can eat. Sorry to all you cheesecake lovers. But don't worry, because we're going to explore so many different cheesecake recipes on this show. It's going to be fun. Now, if you want, you can just make these into a pie-sized cheesecake or do it in a springform pan. I'm just going to garnish these with a pretty little lime wedge. I think that's all that needs. Beautiful margarita cheesecake tarts. Lower in fat and calories, our challenge of the day. And then we have a challenge for you too. If you have a favorite recipe that you've had to give up because it's too high in fat and calories or cholesterol, write to us at jensguiltlessgourmet.com and we're gonna pick recipes each week to do on our episodes. And now a taste for me. Mmm, that is so good.